It's Kieran from Thrifty Living. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Today I am so excited because I'm going to be sharing with you my very first DIY tutorial. Some of you may or may not know that I love to craft. It's one of my absolute favorite things to do. I have so many projects going on right now and I want to start sharing them with you all. So every week on Wednesdays I will be sharing with you a DIY tutorial. I'm so excited about this first tutorial. So my first DIY tutorial will be DIY hair bows. I was inspired to make hair bows because I attended a first birthday party for a little girl this past weekend and I made her four little hair bows. This project was seriously so easy to make. Here's how I did it. Okay, so for these bows, I chose this really pretty white and gray chevron pattern. I chose it in the inch and a half width because I think that makes a pretty big bow. I also chose this really pretty pink ribbon that I'm using to cover the alligator clip and to also use in the center of the bow. And I got that in the 3 8 inch width. I think they look so pretty together. I just love the combination. The next thing that you will need for this project are alligator clips. I got these at Walmart and I want to say there were 30 or 40 in the pack and I think I spent like $3.50 for them. And of course you will need a hot glue gun. I have no idea where I got this one. I think I took it from my mom. You will also need a lighter for this project to heat seal the edge of the ribbon. Obviously I don't know how to use a lighter because it took me a few times to light that one, um, but you can just pick that up at a gas station. Obviously you will need scissors to cut the ribbon, and I wanted to show you guys this. I found a four piece scissor set at Aldi's this week, so go pick them up. They're actually really, really nice. You will also need a ruler to measure the ribbon, and I can't believe that I found a dare ruler in my craft room. This has to be like 15 years old. Okay, so for a bow this size, you're going to cut six inches of the inch and a half wide ribbon. Now this is where you need the lighter. You are actually going to take the lighter and ignite it and then you're going to take the flame and put it right near the ribbon but do not touch it because it will burn the ribbon. You just want to get it close enough to singe those extra little threads. Okay, so now that the edges are sealed, you are going to take your ribbon and you are going to fold it in half. So after you fold your ribbon in half, I like to take mine and put it down on the table and press kind of hard because you want the crease to be really, really pressed into the ribbon. Okay, now for the hot glue gun. Now you are going to put hot glue on one side of the crease. Now you are going to fold the edge of the ribbon onto the hot glue. And repeat with the other side. Place the ribbon split side down on the table, then fold the ribbon in half. Again, I like to press it hard to make a really strong crease. As you can see, it made the letter T. Put a dot of hot glue right in the center of the T. Then fold the fabric in half again. I like to hold it for just a few more seconds. You are then going to take one side of the fold and fold it in half again. And add another dot of hot glue. Fold it over and press. Repeat with the other side. Cut four and a quarter inches of the three eighths inch ribbon and heat seal the edges. 
Now we are going to cover the alligator clip. You are going to start with the side that is opposite of the flat side. Just put a little dot of glue on the top, then on the inside of each part of the alligator clip. Now put a line of hot glue on the bottom of your bow. And attach it to the metal side of the alligator clip. Now cut an inch and a half piece of the 3 8 inch ribbon. Put a small dot of hot glue right in the middle of the clip. Then attach the ribbon to the clip. Well that's it for my very first DIY tutorial. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make DIY hair bows. So if you do try to make these hair bows, please follow me on Instagram and share a picture with me of how your hair bows turned out. Also, please check back on Friday because I'm going to be starting a craft room series. I will be doing a series on how I've decorated my craft room on a budget and with almost everything completely thrifted. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram to see my thrifted teacher outfits of the day. Please check out my new blog at thriftedlivingblog.wordpress.com. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!